here showing us a simple way to create a show-stopping fixture to light up our home decor. This oh. is very cute and so retro, Maria. It's so playful and fun, but also you can make it really, really chic too. So here's the thing about home decor. A lot of people, when we're decorating our houses, it sort of says something about your personality right. and you want a statement piece. But a lot of these chandelier statement pieces are very expensive. So I wanted to create one that was not, but looked like it. So that's what I have here is this beautiful sh uh, chandelier that's made from tassels. I can't believe it. And some like hoop rings. Yes. So that's the base of this. That's all it is. That's it. And a few chains. And a few chains. So that's that's all it takes. So Deb, you see right here. Like we just said, these are macrame rings. So when you're shopping for these, Deb, I got them in three different sizes. So this is gonna okay. depend on what overall look you're going for. Right. So for these guys here, um, what I thought was really great, so I did 14, 10, and six. All right. You don't have to have those drastic Excuse changes. God me. bless you. Excuse God bless Excuse America. Me. So then <laughs> uh, for each one, if you wanna have, uh, the, I have the four inch space that I thought worked, but you don't have to have that big gap. You could just have it be like a subtle little change too. And I did it in the, the sort of ombre colors too. Okay, I love it. And they come so in that's bigger sizes as well. They do, yeah. You could do, uh, I've seen I believe up to 24 inches wow. for the macrame. Okay. Yeah, that's a really big one. Lots yeah. of tassels. All right, and now we need the tassels. <laughs> okay, so this is, I'm gonna show you how to attach it. So this is okay. the contraption that I figured out is the best way to do it. So this is how it works, Deb. I have one set up for you as well. So I right. have my macrame ring and a couple little blocks to put it on. Truthfully, you could use a couple cans, you could do anything, just like ta use some tape just to put it down. To balance it. Exactly, and I have my tassels here. And that is so, important why? So it's important because what we're going to do is we're going to add tassels to the open area. They need a place to dangle. Okay, and then after that, we're going to secure them. So let so me show holding you. it like this, trying to do it. It's, it's not going to work. And when I show you how to secure it, it'll all make sense uh, as well. So when you do this, this is what I found up. You just need to do, you can double knot it if you want. Okay. You could just single knot it. Um, so for this one with my 10 inch, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, with my, my 14 inch, I'm sorry. With my 14 inch, I use about 150 of these oh, really? so it's going to depend on the size of your tassels and what material they are so I just did a sink cut these little things so this you could or you could leave them so that's going to be a design choice um, and I'll talk I'll talk to you like once you see it all finished okay. um, there's some ways to go about doing that but I kind of like how it ended up looking like that right. like leaving them cut so Deb after you do a few these are silky so uh, they they weren't going to stay on their own. Oh. So once I have these done here, you can see what I found worked. I have some uh, some glue here. This is just like a super glue. All right. And uh, you want to go for like one that's like more of a gel. And what I do then is I just do I, I would do like a full line of these and then go back in Put a with drop the so they stay in place. Yep. And what I do is just a little drop. So the reason I do that is because they are silky. If you're using a yarn that is not, you could potentially not need to do that. Uh, and you might not need as much. And where would you get these? I ordered these online. You can get them online in bulk. This is what they look like. This was a pack of 100. So, so that's cute. how I know exactly how many I use. And you can make like little earrings. You got so earrings, necklaces? if it's really in your heart, if it's truly in your heart to make all of these, you definitely could with embroidery okay. thread, thread, but I would recommend buying them in bulk because you're, this is a labor of love to do all of this part. I was just gonna say, so just wrapping the tassels or securing them around the ring probably takes a little bit of time. It so this does. is one of those projects that Paige always says, you know, get comfortable and watch a few Hallmark movies. This would be one of those times. This is exactly one of those times. So you have your weekend ahead of you to DIY and watch some Hallmark movies and you will be all set. And by the way, it might be labor intensive, it's, something's very calming about it is, this. It is, it is. Wrap it around. And so what I would do, Deb, I would do this, and once, oh, I'm sorry, move that out of the way. So once it's uh, once it's done, um, you can go in and then do the other parts that you had on your on here. So Same once it's dry, it's dry. You don't now have to worry do about it. connect all the different rings? Okay, so this is where, I've done chandeliers before where I've tied them with like different string, and it's so hard to kind of manipulate it to try mm, to get it to be it even. Wonky. So what I found is these little chains are in the uh, jewelry area of your craft supply store, and these little jump rings. Okay. Okay. And you get your little guys like this here. Okay, so what I did is you, to make them even, you just count. You count how many they are so that you can have them even. And what I did is I spaced them out evenly on here. And this is what you do. I'm gonna go right here and show you. So after I connected them this way, three there's three different uh, spaces on here. And what you do then to make it hang, you take your little pliers, and these are in, these are specific for jewelry uh, making, but you could do it as, so see how I'm pulling different ways? Yes. Okay, so then we do this here. Put this on. Oh my goodness, and this is how you're gonna hang it from And them. that's how I'm gonna hang it. So truly, Deb, like if you have these at, uh, 
any kind of store, they are, they look super, super expensive. Oops, wrong one. Um, they look super uh, expensive because, probably because if they are handmade, it's gonna yeah, it take a lot of time to time. do. But truthfully, like if you do this, you will be all set to go. And it might take a little bit of uh, pushing and using these, but after that, you're set. And that's to answer your question, Deb, about cutting off the little things on the top. Uh, I did that with our, our beautiful orange one that's hanging up there. But with this one, when I kind of was like playing with it a little bit too, I realized that it would actually be kind of um, great to leave the little the little guys hanging because it adds because it a actually bit adds more. it. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you could do anything you wanted to do with this if you want. You could uh, hang it in a number of ways. It's going to depend on if you add a light in. Uh, okay. So for instance, that right in front of you, that's a light that you could hang down the center or in the light that you already have. Look but at you that. Can see that it takes oh. it. So it's so foolproof. And this is where you could cut the sides if you wanted. But I kind of like. I like that I sort of shagginess. It, yeah, it makes it look like a shag rug. It does, yeah. I like it better this way. I mean, that's beautiful as well, but, but I But it's kind of shaggy, this. and I like it. And whatever leftover tassels you have, feel free to make earrings, a skirt, You could do absolutely shirt. everything. Where's Orly when you need Where's Orly? Oh, yeah, she this would love this. so awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so clever. And for full instructions on how to make these beautiful tassel chandeliers, you can head on over to HallmarkChannel.com. Thank you.